Hello everyone and welcome back to the semi-abandoned YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a trip I took back in August of 2021. In case you couldn't tell from my outfit, I took a trip to Machu Picchu, Peru. And I brought a lot of film cameras with me. For those of you who've been watching me for a long time now, you should know that I always bring more than one camera <laughs> to a, a specific location. In this case, I brought one, two, three, four, five, six cameras with me that I can remember at least. I have my F1 here and my digital camera here. Deciding what camera to bring was not an easy thing for me to do. I knew I needed at least one digital to have backups for my film in case it didn't work out. A point and shoot, two mini format cameras, and um, a tiny rangefinder camera, because why not? And of course I brought a workhorse, which is my Canon F1. This was my main camera that I used on that trip. I shot multiple rolls with this camera on that mountain and this was definitely, definitely the best camera that I've had on me. The next camera that I knew I needed to bring was my digital camera. This is the Fujifilm X100. That's it, just the X100. The original one that came out in uh, 2012. Yes, I brought this nine year old, 10 year old camera with me on a once in a lifetime trip digital. Next up is my trusty Yashica T4. As you can see, it is very beat up. It actually took a huge beating in Peru, um, but I managed to stitch it back up with uh, a lot of tape. And then of course I mentioned the rangefinder. This is a Yasuharo T012. I actually recently made a video about this camera. It is a very rare camera, the rarest camera in my arsenal if I do say so myself. And then of course the two medium format cameras. Uh, this camera I recently made a video about as well. This is a 100 year old camera that I own and I shot one roll of film on it, through it, on the mountain. And I got some interesting results from this, but I think the real MVP is this Mosca 5 Russian medium format 6x9 camera. So now that I introduce you to the cameras that I brought with me on the mountain, I'd like to start off this video with uh, us driving up the mountain on a bus. Yes, we drove up on a bus. What, you think I was going to hike up with six cameras on me? No. No, we took a bus. As soon as I got off the bus, I did load a uh, certain roll of film into my F1. That roll of film is Aerochrome Infrared Film. For those of you who don't know what this is, this is a very, very legendary film that one of my subscribers kindly sent to me. Unfortunately, I did not get great results from this, and I'll show you guys later the results that I got. But yeah, this is one of the first rolls of film that I loaded into a camera on that mountain, and here's some footage of that. So one of the first things that I noticed on that mountain was that it was very difficult to breathe. I mean, just walking alone uh, took the breath out of me. Like I would walk for five minutes straight and I would to take a break to catch my breath. Yeah, it was pretty pathetic. Also, walking up the stairs was murder. Um, I would actually have to sit down and recover from walking up f five steps. Yeah, it was uh, difficult. That reason they need to go outside. In my defense though, I am a Floridian, um, I believe we're at sea level and that mountain is god knows how high it is, like, I don't understand mountains, I don't know, but it was basically in the clouds, you would look down you would see clouds, that's how, you know, high up we were. But in the name of shooting film, 
I decided to carry on because I'm sure uh, it's never been done before. I'm sure no one's ever brought a film camera up on that mountain. And I was already on the mountain. I mean, what was I going to do? Just jump off? No, I was going to keep going and uh, take photos because what else am I going to do? I already said that. Okay, moving on. Eventually I did finish a roll of black and white film in this camera and I did load a roll of Kodak Pro 100 film. This is a uh, color roll of film that expired back in June of 1998. This stuff produces incredible photos and I honestly captured my favorite photos with this camera and this film put together. Now eventually I did make my way into loading Portra 160 into this Canon F1. And of course everything shot on Portra looks absolutely delicious, at least that's what I'm told. So I had a blast shooting Portra 160 on this mountain that I was on, I don't know what you call it, I forgot. Okay, I'm on my way out now. Um, I couldn't really talk to you guys because I had this mask on. We were forced to wear it the whole time. But now uh, we're heading out so I can pull this down a little bit. Um, let me show you where I'm at. This little trail leads back to the bus. This is my view. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this mountain. Uh, I spent here like two hours and I shot lots of film. Uh, I like to say like five, six rolls. So yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm a, uh, try not to have a heart attack now. Now I do have to say that every single photo that I took on film was backed up on my digital camera. So yeah, needless to say, I shot a lot of digital on that cam, on that camera, on that mountain on this camera and before you criticize me for using a digital camera in a film video or a video about film you would do the same thing if you were on a uh, I don't know rare trip in a ancient place definitely want to ensure that your photos will survive because you know things happen with film they get exposed to light 
you know, cameras fall off the mountain, stuff like that. Not that I uh, dropped a camera on the mountain. I'm not saying that, but uh, it can happen. In fact, I am very glad that I brought this thing onto that trip because every single photo that I shot on that aerochrome stuff did not survive, unfortunately. But I did take backups with this camera. So there you go. This is why you bring a digital camera everywhere you go. Yeah, I said it. Now, for those of you who are curious to see the aerochrome results, here they are. Now, as you can tell, they are very expired looking, and it doesn't really look anything like the aerochrome film is supposed to look like. Not sure what happened. I developed it in the proper chemistry. I guess the film was just too old. I did use the um, 85B filter, and I did expose it to compensate its age, but pfft, I don't know. And if you think the results are okay or fine, um, shoot yourself with a camera on expired film and then take that expired film toy lab and get blank negatives back because that's what you deserve for like an expired film. I also have footage of the film positives of the aerochrome uh, while drying and here's a clip of that. So as you can see the film emoji was rubbing completely off. I could have squeegeed the entire strip of film and the entire emoji would have just came off with my fingers. Yeah, it wasn't really a, a good look. What I did was I let it hang for about two to three days, maybe four. And when I came back, uh, they were dry, completely dry. And I was able to scan them. And they look horrible, so yeah. For those of you who don't know, this is what it's supposed to look like. The greens are, are supposed to be pink or purple or whatever, and the sky is supposed to be crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could always replicate these photos in Photoshop, but I would land me in a uh, very deep hole in hipster hell. So I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought of the photos that I got, what you thought about my outfit on the mountain, what you thought about my outfit in this video. And also let me know what else you guys are trying to see from this channel. I am trying to post more often. I know I said that in the past, but I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I've been filming a lot. I just got over COVID, but I still have a lot of stuff that I filmed before I, you know, died. So do expect more content from this channel. I don't know how frequent and I don't know how soon, but expect more content no matter what. And that's pretty much all I had to say. Goodbye.